Alison Kristin Mack, born July 29, 1982, is a former American actress. She played Chloe Sullivan on the superhero series Smallville, 2001 to 2011, and had a recurring role on the comedy series Wilfred, 2012, 2014. Mack was a member of Nexium a cult posing as a multi-level marketing company. In 2018, she was arrested on charges of sex trafficking, sex trafficking conspiracy, and forced labor conspiracy in relation to Nexium activities. She pleaded guilty to racketeering and racketeering conspiracy charges and was sentenced to three years in prison in 2021. Early life. Mack was born on July 29, 1982, in Preetz, Germany, to American parents Jonathan Mack, an opera singer, and Mindy Mack, a schoolteacher and bookkeeper. Her parents were in Germany at the time of her birth because Jonathan was performing there. They lived in Germany for two years before moving to California. Career. Early work. Mac's first job was for a German chocolate company in a series of print ads and commercials. She went into modeling for a short period and studied at the Young Actors Space in Los Angeles at age 7. Mac's first major television role was in an episode of the WB series Seventh Heaven, in which she gained attention playing a teenager who cut herself. In 2000, she co-starred in the short-lived series Opposite Sex. Her film credits include roles in My Horrible Year, Eric Stoltz's directorial debut, as a girl having great difficulties in her life as she turns 16. She was also featured in Camp Nowhere and in the Disney film Honey. We Shrunk Ourselves. Smallville. 2001-2011. In October 2001, Mac began starring as Chloe Sullivan, an original character created for the show. One of Clark Kent's best friends in the WB, CW television series Smallville. Mac earned several awards and nominations for her portrayal of Chloe, including the Teen Choice Award for Best Sidekick in 2006 and 2007. She appeared as a series regular for nine seasons and returned as an intermittent main cast member in the tenth season, including the two-part series finale. From 2003 to 2006, Max character appeared in her own miniseries Smallville, Chloe Chronicles and Smallville, Vengeance Chronicles. In 2008, Mac made her directorial debut in Smallville Season 8 episode, Power, in 2002. She made a couple of appearances along with her Smallville castmate Sam Jones 3 in R. L. Stein's miniseries The Nightmare Room. In 2006, Mac appeared in the animated movie The Ant Bully. That same year, she voiced Klee, a museum curator in an episode of The Batman, adding to her Superman resume. She lent her voice for Power Girl in the animated feature Superman, Batman. Public Enemies. 2009. Mac had been part of a project with the Iris Theatre Company. After Smallville. In March 2012, Mac was cast in a recurring role in the second season of the FX sitcom Wilfred. She played Amanda, the love interest of Elijah Wood's lead character Ryan. Mac returned to Wilfred for one episode of the fourth and final season. In 2014, Mac guest starred as a policewoman named Hillary in an episode of the Fox thriller The Following. On March 21, 2015, she tweeted that she would be appearing in American Odyssey as Julia. Who befriends Suzanne, the daughter of Anna Friel's lead character Sergeant Odell Ballard. Personal life. Mac had a long-term relationship with Canadian actor Chad Crouchuk during the 2000s. 
she was engaged to fellow Smallville actor Sam Witwer in 2013. But the engagement was called off a year later. Mack married Canadian actress Nikki Klein, a Nexium member, in February 2017. The marriage was alleged to have been a sham to get Klein around U.S. immigration laws and only became public a year later during legal proceedings on the conspiracy and racketeering charges as part of Mac's involvement with Nexium. In December 2020, Mac filed for divorce from Klein. It was reported in 2020 that Mac had attended classes at UC Berkeley. Mac was a high ranking member within the Nexium organization and was second in command of the secret group, DOS. After founder Keith Rainier, Mac, Klein, and Lauren Saltzman, the daughter of Nexium president Nancy Saltzman, were Rainier's inner circle and sexual partners and his first line masters in DOS. Mac is the co creator of The Source, a Nexium program that recruited actors. Nexium and criminal prosecution. In 2006, Mac joined Nexium after attending a two day introduction to Juness, a women's group within Nexium. In a 2003 article from Forbes, advocates of Nexium portrayed it as an organization focused on inspirational executive coaching, like a practical MBA. While detractors accused the founder Keith Rainier of running a cult-like program aimed at breaking down his subjects psychologically, former Nexium member Sarah Edmondson stated in a 2017 New York Times expose and a 2018 A&E special on cults details a subgroup of Nexium called Dominus Obsequious Sororium DOS and that she had been branded in an initiation ceremony at Mac's house, under Mac's supervision. By one account, some women appeared to have been branded with Mac's initials, A.M., and Rainier's initials, K.R. In a New York Times interview, Mac claimed the human branding was her idea. The DOS branding ritual followed a script created by Rainier. DOS recruits were told the brand was a symbol of the elements and were unaware the brand was Nexium. Founders' initials. Mac was arrested in Brooklyn by the FBI on April 20, 2018, on charges of sex trafficking, sex trafficking conspiracy and forced labor conspiracy. During her arraignment proceedings, Prosecutors also accused her of entering a sham marriage with Nikki Klein to help Klein circumvent U.S. immigration laws. Mack was charged with recruiting women to join what was purported to be a female mentorship group that was, in fact, created and led by Keith Rainier. The victims were then exploited, both sexually and for their labor, to the defendant's benefit. Federal prosecutors said Rainier created DOS in 2015. Mac was one of the top members of a highly organized scheme which was designed to provide sex to Rainier. Quote. According to prosecutors, Mac recruited women by telling them that they were joining a women only organization that would empower them and eradicate purported weaknesses that the Nexium curriculum taught were common in women. Mac concealed Rainier's status as the leader of the group. Before joining the group, women were required to provide highly damaging personal information, nude photos and rights to personal assets. After Mac recruited women to join DOS, under the guise of female empowerment, she starved women until they fit. Rainier's sexual feminine ideal she used tactics such as blackmail to force them into engaging in sexual activity with Rainier against their wishes and enslaved them to do menial tasks. In exchange, Mac received financial and other benefits from Rainier. If convicted of all charges, Mac and Rainier faced a minimum of 15 years to life in prison. 
on April 24, 2018. Mack was released on a $5 million bond and held under house arrest under the custody of her parents. In California. In March 2019. It was revealed in court that Mack and the other defendants in the case were in active plea. Negotiations as Rainier appeared in court to plead not guilty to child pornography charges related to the case. On April 8, 2019, Mack pleaded guilty to racketeering and racketeering conspiracy charges and admitted to state law extortion and forced labor. Mack was scheduled for sentencing in September 2019 but was postponed by the court to grant sufficient time to conduct pre-sentencing investigations. On October 27, 2020, Rainier was sentenced to 120 years in prison. In 2019, Catherine Oxenberg produced the Lifetime television film Escaping the Nexium Cult. A mother's fight to save her daughter with actress Sarah Fletcher is Mac. In January 2020, Mac. Rainier. Klein and other Nexium individuals were named as defendants in a civil lawsuit filed in federal court by 80 former Nexium members. The lawsuit details allegations of fraud and abuse and charges of being a pyramid scheme. Exploitation of its recruits. Conducting illegal human experiments. And making it, physically and psychologically difficult. And in some cases impossible. To leave the coercive community. Under advisory sentencing guidelines. Mac faced 14 to 17 and a half years behind bars. Days before the sentencing, Mac released a statement saying that her involvement with Nexium was the biggest mistake and greatest regret of her life and expressed remorse in regard to those affected. In addition to the letter, her attorneys asked for no jail time in consideration for Mac's remorse and her cooperation with Ranier's prosecution. On June 30, 2021. Mack was sentenced to three years in prison and three years of probation. Must complete 1,000 hours of community service and pay a fine of $20,000. Mack reported to Federal Correctional Institution. Dublin in Dublin, California. On September 13, 2021. To begin serving her three-year sentence. Filmography. Awards and nominations. References. External links. Alison Mack at IMDb. Alison Mack at All Movie.